After decades in operation, a Cape Cod weather station shut down this week because it's on the verge of falling into the ocean. Yeah, that station played a small but crucial role in generating forecasts. WBZ meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff shows us why people on the Cape are so familiar with the station's work. What rises twice a day from dozens of locations across the United States and grows to the size of a house? A weather balloon. You may have spotted one in the skies above Cape Cod. They've been launching there every day from Morris Island in Chatham for the last 60 years. That is until Wednesday. After tracking nature for decades, this weather station is about to fall victim to it. In the last six months, um, the erosion of that bluff has just been astronomical. I mean, it were, it's one to two feet a week on average, and we've had a couple of storms where six feet of the bluff has just slumped off into the ocean. Andy Nash, meteorologist in charge at National Weather Service Boston, has been watching a longtime staple of New England weather observations slide into the Atlantic. While rising seas are certainly a factor, a storm in 2019 exposed a weakness by tearing a cut in the sandbar offshore. Over time, that's, that's widened and shifted, and so now the full force of the open ocean can get right to the, the base of the bluff. The building here is home to a weather balloon or radio sonde launch site and is precariously perched on the edge of a 40 foot cliff. Rather than meeting its destiny, it will be demolished in the next few weeks. Once we get past that, then we can look towards phase two, which is okay. Now, where are we going to end up? Each balloon that leaves Chatham carries an instrument package and transmits data about the atmosphere miles up before it pops. 92 different locations across the U.S. do exactly the same, with others nearby in Albany, Long Island, and in Maine. But having a local coastal sample is important for forecasting. It gives us a snapshot, a profile of what the atmosphere is doing. Um, at that time. Weather is three-dimensional, so it's not just on the ground, it is, it is above uh, our heads. Those snapshots can be viewed in real time, but also go into computer models to help paint a clearer picture of the future. While the plan was to move somewhere new within the next five years, obviously that timeline has sped up dramatically. We need to stop operations uh, because it's getting to be an unsafe location for the observers that, that work there and demolish the buildings before they fall into the ocean. And soon that journey up in the sky will start from somewhere else. Everybody from our office um, up through the weather service wants to get something uh, set up and in place as, as quickly as possible. Nash hopes to have a new launch site going within the next two years. Right now, all their energy is spent working on the Chatham location. Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News.